What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Devin. I hope you'll consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you're not new, as always, welcome back. You know I love you. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about the new BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival palette collection, actually, but I'm holding this backwards, so let me flip it around. <laughs> Here's the front of the palette. So the collection is obviously centered around this beautiful rainbow palette here. And then this collection also did come with two little lip gloss bundles. This one's a little bit more nude. This one's like more pinky purple reddish. Great description, I know. And then this collection also did come with a brush set to go with everything as well. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I do wanna attempt to do some swatches for you guys of this palette and then we'll move into a tutorial and then some final thoughts at the end. So if you are interested in talking about this BH Cosmetics Midnight Festival collection, let's get right into it. All right, you guys, so like I said, I am going to do my best to attempt some swatches here. I've really not done very many swatches of palettes on my channel, so you'll have to forgive me. I'm apologizing in advance if it's a hot mess, but we're gonna try. So this palette comes with, it looks like 12 mattes of all these brights, and then you also have a white and a black. Then you have four shimmers along this top row here, and then along the far end here, you have four pressed glitters. And at a first glance, I think the array of colors is nice. I think the color selection is nice. What I think is really good is that you have your deeper colors, but then you also have some lighter colors in each of those shades that you can blend out. So for example, you have a deep purple here, then you've got a light purple that you can blend out. You've got a pink, you've got a much lighter pink, you've got a blue, you've got a much lighter blue, and you've even got an orange and a much lighter like corally orange color. So I think that's really important when you're working with colors and you need to blend things out because colors are definitely their own monster. Working with them is quite different, I think, than working with neutral eyeshadows, so looking pretty good. So I think the way that I want to do this is I'm going to do the shimmers, then I'll do all the mattes, and then we'll finish up with the glitters at the end for the swatches. Okay, first up we've got Fantasy. Then we've got Laser. Then we've got Wonderland. I better do these closer together so I have enough room on my entire arm. And then we've got Euphoria. So those are the four shimmers in the palette. Moving into the mattes, we've got Dance. Then we've got Star, which is the white. And that's really not swatching great at all, but I did use this in the video and was really impressed with it. So don't let that swatch fool you. This is actually a really good white. Then we've got Bubbles. Then we've got Experience. Again, not swatching great. It's like a light pastel pink. Moving down, we've got Main Stage. Wow, that's fun. Then we've got After Party. Beat Drop. Techno. Then we've got Ferris Wheel. Daisy, ooh, that doesn't look great. Base, and last but not least, we have Nocturnal for the mattes. Okay, so I've just zoomed you guys in so you can see those swatches up a little bit closer. I tried, I just tried to take a shot where I was like zoomed in on my arm and I just, like I said, I just don't know what I'm doing with swatches, but you get the idea, right? So these are all the eyeshadows from the palette swatched on my arm and then we'll move on to glitters in a second. All right, you guys, and then here are swatches of the four pressed glitters in the palette. I've turned the lighting on my ring light down a little bit so it's not as bright so you can kind of see a truer version of what these colors look like. So on top here, we've got Firework. Then we've got Jewel, which is actually the glitter that I have on my eyes today. And then we have Sparkler. And then we have Noise down here at the bottom. 
So obviously, I mean, they all coordinate with colors in the palette, right? And I think that they're really beautiful, just like toppers for your eyeshadow. All right, and then this collection, as I mentioned in the intro, did come with two little lip gloss bundles. So this one is called So Extra Plur. P-L-U-R, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> but this is the one with the two more like purpley reddish colors. And then we have this one, which is called So Extra Candy. And this is the one that I used on my lips today, specifically this sparkly one here. So here are the lip swatches. Again, I turned my lighting down just a little bit so you guys can see. So on top here, we've got Sequin, which is this guy right here. Then we've got Riot which is this guy. Then we've got Gem, which is actually the lip gloss that I'm wearing on my lips today over a lip liner. And then we have Rowdy at the bottom. So it's two like sparkly finishes and then we have two cream finishes as well. And then lastly, I just wanna show you guys the brushes. So this is the box that they come in and I held on to it because it's actually got the names of all of the brushes and what they are on the back. So the actual brushes come all wrapped up. I obviously took them out of the wrapping, but then they come with this cute little brush holder. I think a lot of the BH Cosmetics brush sets actually come with this little holder. This is the first one I've purchased that came with one, but either way, it's really cute. So I'll just go through really quickly and tell you guys what the brushes actually are in case you're interested and then we'll move on. First, we have brush number one, which is this guy right here. This is a deluxe angled powder brush. Then we've got brush number two right here, which is described as a foundation buffer brush. We have brush number three, which I actually did use to dust off like my under eye powder today. And this is a tapered powder brush. We have brush number four, which is described as a dense buffer brush. So this would probably be great for like maybe buffing out cream contour or something like that. Then we've got brush number five, which is a highlight brush, which I did use to apply my highlight today. We've got brush number six, which is a small flat shader brush. We have brush number seven, which is a tapered blending brush. So obviously now we're getting into the eye brushes. We've got brush number eight, which is described as just a blending brush. We have brush number nine, which is described as a large shader brush. It honestly looks kind of fluffy to me. I probably would still use this as a blending brush. And then we've got this guy right here, brush number 10, which is described as an angled detail brush. So those are all the brushes. I thought it would be fun just to go through and show you you guys like what actually you get in this bundle in case it's something that you're interested in so now that we've swatched everything in the collection I've showed you guys all of the different products that are in the collection we are gonna go ahead and move in to the makeup tutorial so I went ahead and created this look with the palette today so if you are interested in seeing how I did it let's get into the tutorial okay so we're gonna prime quickly I'm gonna use my elf putty eye primer so I'm just getting that on my finger and blending it out. So I have been wanting to practice a lot more with bright colored eyeshadow. I started a Pinterest board and I've been looking on Pinterest a lot for color inspiration. So my point in telling you that is that I have this look right here that I wanna use as the inspiration for today. I saw this last night and I just felt like it was such a beautiful, striking purple smoky eye. So this is what I'm gonna go for today. I don't think that it will look exactly like that, obviously, but that's okay because we're making it our own. So to start, I think I wanna take this color right here. It's called Experience and it's just, it looks like a really light, light dusty pink. And I'm just gonna use that to set down my primer. Next, I'm gonna take a deep purple eyeliner. This one's from NYX, it's their retractable eyeliner and it's literally called Deep Purple. I just got this. But I am going to take that and just start building a base of color at my lash line. So I'm kind of just covering my entire lid with this eyeliner. I feel like if you have like a chubbier eye, crayon or something it might be a little bit easier but it's okay 
this works. And I'm not worrying about this being neat because we're just gonna go ahead and smudge it out in a second. So I'm just grabbing one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills brushes that come in the palettes and I'm gonna use this like smudgy end to smudge that around. You can kind of work back and forth as you need to between buffing and applying the eyeliner. Okay, using that same brush, I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm going to jump into Techno right here. And I am just going to start packing that right over top. So I'm really gonna take the time to just pack this color on and press it into the lid. Make sure we're getting like the intense color payoff that we want, which honestly, I know we put an eyeliner down, but that looks pretty nice right off the bat. It brightens things up a little bit. So I'm gonna focus on getting the shape that I want and then we'll go back in and blend it out later. And for this look, I'm gonna try to focus on getting the shape nice and round. So next I'm gonna take a thin blending brush and I'm gonna go into the color Dance and now we're gonna focus on blending out the edge of that purple. Okay, and then on that same brush, I'm gonna go back into Experience. Just to keep blending that out without taking the purple up too far, I just want it to look seamless. So really take your time here. Don't rush through the blend. And I'm going back in with a little bit of techno where I feel like I might have blended it away a little bit, like right here in this outer corner. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way that that blend is right now. Don't worry if it's not perfect around the corners here because we always clean that up with a makeup wipe before we do our face makeup. But I think now I wanna add some shimmer and maybe a little bit of glitter kind of in the center here. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my finger in this shade Euphoria. Looks pretty, it doesn't look overly intense. It looks like kind of like an ethereal purple. And I'm just gonna tap that in the center of the lid here. Eh, that didn't really do much, did it? <laughs> All right, let's see. So I'm really gonna focus that in the center. And then once I've Build it up in the center. You can kind of just take like the extra that's left on your finger to blend out the side. So now I definitely want to add some glitter. So taking Jewel again, just on my finger. And I think the question is going to be to use a glitter glue or not to use a glitter glue, but I do want to test it out without one first. So I'm just going to pat that glitter right over top of where we just put Euphoria. And again, I just wanna try to focus this in the center and then like fade it out on the sides. Kind of hard to do with glitter because no matter what, glitter just kind of gets everywhere, but I'm not somebody that necessarily minds that. But I do wanna try to like get it all the way up to the crease here. And then like I said, kind of blend out the sides. I have to say, I do miss getting my nails done but I love not having long nails so I can use my fingers to do my eye makeup. It's the best. All right, so to finish up the top lid before I move on to do my face, I do wanna put a little bit of eyeliner along the lash line. I'm not gonna do a wing. I'm just gonna add a line right along my eyelashes. So I'm gonna take my NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner and I'm gonna take a deep breath and ask you guys to pray for me on this because I never do eyeliner because I personally feel like I suck at it, but I probably would suck less at it if I tried to do it more often. So I'm just gonna hold my breath and hope that this goes well. And I don't wanna make the line too thick. I just want this to make it like extra dark along the lash line because we're gonna put some eyeliner on the bottom too. Okay, so that's gonna be it for the top lid for now. So I'm gonna clean up with a makeup wipe. All right, you guys, I'm gonna hop off camera. I'm gonna plug my camera in so my battery can get a little bit more juice. I'm gonna do my face makeup and then I will be back to finish up this look. Okay, hello, we are back. Let's go ahead and finish up the eyes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a black eyeliner. This one again is from NYX. It's the retractable eyeliner.
Oh, also, I don't think I said this, but I do want to make this line pretty thick and dramatic on the bottom. I want it to be nice and dark. So going back into Techno with the same brush we were using earlier, I'm actually gonna take it on the tip and I am going to start blending that along the lower lash line here. And then going back into Dance, again on the same brush we were using it before, and we're gonna blend. And then again, I'm going into Nocturnal and I'm gonna smudge that right along where we put the black eyeliner. And this is just gonna help it look nice and intense. Okay, and then I do wanna finish off with a little something in the inner corner as well. So I'm first gonna take Star, which is just a matte white. Mm, that one's pretty white. And I'm gonna put that on my inner corner to start. Wow guys, that's a nice white. Okay, and then I'm gonna take Euphoria and I think I wanna mix a little bit of Fantasy in there as well. And I'm just gonna put that directly over top of the white. So we did the white to just kind of brighten it up so that these shimmers could have a brighter base to sit on top of because I think this will just help them pop a little bit more than they would on their own. But then we add the pink and the purple back in to kind of blend it all in with the rest of the look. For lashes today, I'm gonna try these guys out. These are the Kiss number ones. I use the Kiss 11s a lot, but I've never tried these. These are a little bit longer, a little bit fluffier than the Kiss 11s, so I think they'll just bring a little bit more drama, but they're still not too much, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna pop these on off of camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back with lashes. They're all right. I won't say they're like my favorite lashes that I've ever worn, but they're good if you don't want something that's too dramatic. They are really long. And these are good too because they're not too thick so you can still see the drama. They don't take away from the drama of the eyeshadow itself since we did something obviously really bright, dramatic, and smoky, so. So then this collection did come with two little lip gloss bundles as well. I'm gonna go for the nude ones today since our eyes are so crazy. So I'm gonna line my lips first. This is my NYX lip liner and this is in the shade Nude Pink. And then I'm gonna go over top with a gloss. So this one is called Gem and this is the sparkly one. And they don't feel sticky or thick or anything. They feel like first impression that feels like a really nice consistency. All right, everyone, as always, here we are with the finished look. And I will say I am pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I think that the vibrancy of all of the colors that I used, obviously we focused mostly on the purple shades, right? We didn't go into like the entire rainbow that's in this palette right now, but for the colors that I did use, I was really impressed. I felt like the pigment was great. I felt like they were easy to blend. They were easy to work with. They didn't get all over my face. They didn't have a ton of fallout. So I was really, really impressed so far with this palette. I feel like for me, BH eyeshadow palettes are pretty hit or miss, whether I like love them or don't love them so much, but as a brand as a whole, I really like BH, so I was really, really happy with the way that this performed so far. In terms of the brushes, I actually didn't end up using them. I don't know what I was doing. I guess I just like wasn't paying attention. I didn't end up using many of the eye brushes, but I did use a few of like the face brushes. Like I used this little powder brush to dust off the powder under my eyes. And I used this guy for highlight when I was doing my makeup, like my face makeup off camera. And I will say these do feel really nice quality. They're nice and fluffy and soft. The handles themselves are decently weighted and none of the hairs are pulling out. Like they feel sturdy in there. I personally am a fan of BH Cosmetics brush sets for my own personal use. I don't really like to use them in my professional kit or anything like that, but I do have a few of their brush sets for myself and I really like them. I find that you can get a good 
range of brushes that you can practice different techniques with and stuff like that and I do feel like they blend well and they work well when I'm just kind of playing around with makeup myself so if you're in the market for some brushes and you don't want to spend a ton of money and maybe like you're just starting out with makeup and you just want to get a set or two just to play around without breaking the bank I would recommend taking a look at BH because they have a lot of good sets so yeah that's just my two cents on that and then as far as lip gloss goes, like I said, I really, really like the packaging. I really kind of like this like thick, chunky little tube. And then you also have a really nice big applicator. I think it's comfortable on the lips. Like I said earlier, it doesn't feel sticky or goopy or thick or anything like that. So I really like these as well. As far as like the plumping, they're not, I don't feel any tingle. I don't feel any mintiness or coolness or anything like that, which I personally don't mind, but I also don't necessarily think that there's any plumping effect on my lip right now, but I, I don't like really care about that. I like, if a lip gloss is pump plumping, then fine if it's not also fine I don't really worry about that too much but if you're somebody that likes the tingliness of a plumping lip gloss you're not gonna get that from these and if you're on the other hand if you're somebody that doesn't like that tingly minty feeling of a plumping lip gloss I think you might still want to try these because you don't get that weird feeling at all they just feel like a normal lip gloss so all in all, I would say I like this collection. I think it's really cute. I think it was really fun to play with. And one thing that I will say that I really appreciate is that there is also a black and a white in this palette. So you can layer colors on top of a white if you want them to be brighter, like I did with the inner corner, or you can deepen them up with the black if you want something that's more smoky and dramatic. So I really appreciate that in this full color palette, you do also have a white and a black. I think that's really cool. Um, and then as far as the glitters, I mean, they're not like my favorite press glitters that I've ever tried, but I do think that it looked, the one that I used looked really pretty on the lid. So I don't know, that's that, I guess. And I will say I didn't use the glitter glue and it's not falling all over my face, which I do think is important when you're working with the glitter. So... So I think that is gonna be it for this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this look, on this palette, all of that in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. And that being said, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so by hitting the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any videos from me. And with that, I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Love you, bye.